Lesson 2.4, Hundreds, Tens, and Ones. We can write a three-digit number that is shown by a set of blocks. We look at how many hundreds blocks we have. We have one, two. We write a two for the hundreds. We count how many tens there are. We have one, two, three, four, five tens. We count how many ones there are. There are one, two, three, four ones. We wrote the number 254. Two hundreds, five tens, four ones. We can draw a quick picture of a number. Each column in the chart shows how many blocks to draw. We use squares for hundreds, lines for tens, and dots for ones. It's telling us we need three hundreds, so we make three squares. We need six tens, so we make six lines. And we need five ones, we make five dots. We have 365 as a model. We can write how many hundreds, tens, and ones blocks there are in a model. We see two hundreds, three tens, and seven ones. That's two hundreds, three tens, and seven ones. And that's the same as two hundred plus thirty plus seven. I have a quick note to the parents. Be careful in this lesson. We are not writing the three-digit numbers in expanded form. We are writing how many hundreds, tens, and ones blocks are in a model in different ways. If there are no tens blocks or no ones blocks, we write zero for the number of blocks. Here we have a 100 flat and we have no lines of 10. We have two little ones. So we have 100 plus zero plus two. That's 102. If a number has a hundreds digit, it must also have a tens digit and a ones digit. We use zeros to keep the digits in their correct place. This two is in the hundreds place because the zero in the tens place and the zero in the ones place are keeping it in the hundreds place. Here, we need to write how many hundreds, tens, and ones blocks are in the model. We can use the place value chart, then write the number in two ways. Here as a three-digit number, and here as the number of blocks that are shown. We see there are one, two, three, one hundreds. So we're going to have a three in the hundreds place. We see one ten, so we're going to put a one in the tens place. There are no ones over here, so we have zero ones. We can write it in this space as 310. We can also write it here in another way as 300 plus 10 plus zero ones. Remember that 10 tens are equal to 100. We're just squeezing these tens together and we'll make a flat of 100. And 20 tens are equal to 200s. Here we have a riddle. It says a model for my number has three ones blocks, two tens blocks, and four hundreds blocks. What number am I? We think we can draw a quick picture of the blocks to solve this riddle. We can also use a place value chart. So let's try doing a quick drawing of the blocks. It says there are three ones. We can make three dots for the ones. It's telling us there are two tens. We can make two lines for the two tens. And it's telling us there are four hundreds blocks. We can make four squares for the hundreds. We can use a place value chart to help us. 
There are three ones. We put a three in the ones place. There are two tens. We put a two in the tens place. There are four hundreds blocks. We put a four in the hundreds place. We see that the number is 423. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. That means we have to think a little harder. We have a riddle and it says, my hundreds digit is one more than my tens digit. My tens digit is one more than my ones digit. My ones digit is four. What number am I? And we think we need to work backward starting in the ones place we know that the ones digit is a four, but it didn't tell us the tens digit or the hundreds digit. It only told us that the tens digit is one more than the ones digit. The ones digit is four. One more than four is five. The tens place must be a five. It told us that the hundreds digit is one more than the tens digit. One more than five is six. The hundreds place must be a six. Do you know what number it is? If you said 654, you're right. As you're doing this, make sure you put the correct amount of blocks in the correct place value. Our next lesson, 2.5, we're gonna talk about place value to 1,000. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.